everyone. Hi, guys. And welcome to the very first episode in our colour series yes. from Massey, Massey Art, Art Studios. Studios. I'm Lee. I'm Jeremy. So what is this colour series, colour theory series all about? Well, why don't you tell us? I am going to. <laughs> so um, colour theory is both the science and the art yes. of colour. And colour harmonies, which we're going to be looking at, is the placing of colours in a way in which it is aesthetically pleasing to the eye. Wow, that was well said. Thank you. I almost lifted a little bit of it. <laughs> um, so, um, did you know that Sir Isaac Newton, back in the mid-1600s, was the first person who first kind of put together the colour wheel. That's amazing. Yeah. Talk about overachieving. I right. <laughs> he was refracting light through a prism and then saw that there were different kind of colours of light. Oh, that's amazing. And so he helped put this thing together, which is the colour wheel, which is super cool. And colour harmonies, as I said, are yeah. using the colours in the colour wheel in a way in which it is aesthetically pleasing. Yes. And there are six of them. And we're going to take each one of them in turn and do an episode for this colour theory series. I'm so excited. Me too. Today's episode is monochromatic. Yeah. Yeah? So yeah. monochromatic is basically taking one colour off the wheel, one of the primary colours off the wheel, and then basically uh, either making adding white or black or grey in order to get different shades of yeah. colour of the same colour. And um, that's what we're going to be playing around with today. Now, I've chosen shades of blue. I've chosen shades of green. So definitely the short straw. <laughs> um, and we're going to play around with those colors. I'm going to do a flip and lip. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I'm going to do a ring pour because mm. I know I, I do a lot of ring pours, right. but... I really wanted to do that with this to show the different variations of green and the lines Great of idea. the ring pour. It's a great idea. So, I think that's a, you'll probably see a lot of ring pours through this through this color theory series. Probably, yeah. Um, so we'll talk a little bit more about color theory at the table. Yeah. Um, and probably a little bit more in the wrap up too. This is going to be an educational series. Hope it's definitely been educational for us. It has. And um, I know that you guys will all know this wheel. I'm sure because we learn it in school primary, secondary, tertiary colours, just know that there are different variations of this wheel. The wheel we're going to use is the traditional wheel where yeah. the three main colours are red, yellow and blue. But there is at least two other colour uh, wheels that I yeah. know. One of them mm -hmm. has cyan and magenta and another colour. Because the way that the world has developed, it's no longer just seen colour with eyes, it's now yeah. seeing it digitally and all those kind of things. Exactly. So there are different colour wheels. We'll be using the traditional one. That's awesome. And please, please don't forget about Sunday's live. Oh my gosh. Back to back to back to back to back to back. We've got <laughs> Mina, Kathleen and Sarah Mack here in Dallas with us. We'll all be pouring together on yes. Sunday. It's going to be a lot of fun. Right from our little studio. Exactly. <laughs> AKA the Hot, hot garage. Um, all right, anything else to say? No, that's great. All right, guys. Well, listen, we're really excited about this one. We're really keen to see how these come out. We're just using one color. Yeah. Let's see you at the table. All right. Hey, guys. It is Jeremy here, and I'm super excited about this episode. Um, I love that we're doing this color harmony, you know, like color theory series. Mm -hmm, me too. And, We're um, learning a lot as we go oh through Oh my God, this. learning so much and it's so wonderful. Mm -hmm. um, my monochromatic colors today, I chose green. You did. Um, I did. And I think you drew the short straw because we actually have fewer greens in the studio probably than every other color. I, I had to yeah. do, I did have to mix a um, custom. a custom mix mm -hmm. of a green and I'll explain that to you in just a second. Um, but yeah, so I got my 16 by 20 canvas here. It is taped and pinned on the back. Perfect. Um, yeah, and uh, I'm ready to go. For sure, go for it. Yeah. Do you show us your colors of green? Absolutely, absolutely. So what I did was I took this cobalt green and I mixed it with some white and came up with this delicious minty kind of green color, which I just, I'm in love with. I think it's so great. And then we have Phalo Green by Goldens. Love it. 
We have, this is Sap Green by Amsterdam Acrylics. I've been wanting to use this mm -hmm. since we got it, and I'm so glad that I'm able to use it today. Um, we have Pearl Olive Green, which I'm in love with by Arteza, mm -hmm. and also one of my favorites, Pearl Pistachio Green. Love it. Arteza. Yeah. So I just want to let everyone know that in color theory, color harmony refers to the property that certain aesthetically pleasing color combinations have. So wow. this is all about trying to produce a piece of art that is pleasing to the eye. Well, hopefully this will please your eyes. No pressure. No Show pressure. Pony, right? <laughs> but um, because I saw these colors and I, I wanted to really show them in the painting, I decided to do a ring pour. Okay, perfect. Um, because then you can really see the lines and right. all the different shades, I believe, that way. Right. So I know that I do a lot of those, but I really think that this will be great for this series. I think so too. And what we've tried to do in this monochromatic episode is stay away from colors that were either not primary, so secondary yeah. or tertiary colors. So what Jeremy definitely has here is greens that are just tints, shades, and tones of green. Rather exactly. Than, so we stuck up, we, st we didn't go for like the yellowy green. Yeah, because exactly. Because that would have been adding like exactly. a secondary and tertiary color. Tertiary color, okay. yeah. Say that three times fast. Exactly, color. right. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get to layer on my cup. Let's do it. Now you might be able to hear there's a sprinkling of rain out I in know. Dallas, Texas today. It's been raining pretty much for the last three or four days on and off. It has. It really has. Um, luckily, I think tomorrow is the last day of rain, Thursday. And then it's going to be nice and sunshiny, which is going to be just in time for the girls' arrival. I should say the ladies. The ladies in waiting. I think we're the ones in waiting. <laughs> we we totally are. The sound of death. Right. Now what I'm expecting to see in this cup is light, dark, light, dark, light, dark, in order for you to get some kind of contrast in these colors. Is that fair to say? And that's what's happening. I thought it was. That is what's happening. See, and then I went, I'm going to go back to this one. Are you feeling challenged by this monochromatic episode? Um, it's really interesting. I, I, I am and I'm not at the same time. Like, I just want to get the layers right. Let's go with this one again. I really like this color. It's almost like toothpaste green. It is. It's kind of like a gray green almost. I have a feeling that one is going to be very bossy. But what is? It's going to be very bossy, I believe. I think it's going to be a, one of those colors that could potentially take over. I hope not. We will see. I think this one will. I think that one will definitely. Loving the pot so far. Right. Now we did work out that this 16 by 20 inch gallery wrapped canvas is gonna hold around about 11 or 12 ounces of paint. That is a 20 ounce cup. So in order to give yourself yeah. a little bit of runoff, you're gonna go up there about three quarters, you said? Um, yes, yeah, I'm almost done. Almost done. Um, I think that's a that's a good amount. Perfect. Yeah. All right, sir. Okay, guys. So I have my cup. It's all layered and ready to go. Um, it is such a beautiful layered cup. I'm it just, is. I'm so excited about this. And uh, let's see what happens here. Going to start my ring. Let's get to ringing.
Now, I was holding my breath doing that. Um, wow, okay. Not too great on the rings, I think. But, I know, I think that's too early to say, sir. I think, think you've got to stretch this out and have a look. Okay. But are you, are you wrecking or are you keeping this one it is? I'm keeping the way it is. Cool. Yes. I think that's a good choice yeah. considering that, that minty green in there. Yeah, exactly. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put my flow extender around it okay. and uh, torch it and then start to stretch this baby bad boy out. We'll get to that in a second. Yeah, I love this green. Okay guys, so I have my flow extender, my flow extender mm -hmm. down, and I'm loving the flow extender color to be honest with you. <laughs> um, so, but we, I might keep some negative space, you never know. So why don't we go ahead and what time is it? What time is it? It is tilting time. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay guys, I'm in love with this piece. I love all the different shades of green that you can see through all of these like lines that you have in here. That really interesting mint green really took over. Huh. Yeah. It's as if I thought that was gonna happen. Hmm. But I love what it did. You know, it did take over a lot, but I actually really love what it did. Um, and I'm loving this dark, the dark green that goes Stunning. through here. Yeah, it's just so pretty. These lines right here, it looks like even like there's black in it. Um, and there's not, it's just these different shades of green. Uh, I love the negative space right here. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really happy with this. And this is one of the reasons why we make a nice negative space color. Yes. Sometimes you want to keep it, sometimes you don't, but in this time you do. Yeah, absolutely. All right, should we scrape so, your edges, sir, and take them in for a close-up? We're going to scrape these edges and take you in for a close-up. Let's do it.
All right, ladles and jelly spoons, it is Lee. I'm actually really excited about this monochromatic colour harmony series of the colour theory and the colour wheel. Um, I definitely looked out a little because every single one of these colours is just a colour from a tub. I didn't have to mix a single one of these because we have a lot of blues in the, yeah. in the studio. But let me get to introducing my colours first. So um, my base coat colour, my flow extender I should say, is actually phthalo blue. So that's this one right here. Pretty. And then going lightest to darkest, what I've got is Pearl Glacier Blue. And that one is by Arteza. Yes. I have King's Blue, which is this one here by Amsterdam. Then I've got this one, which I love. This is Brilliant Blue here by Amsterdam. And I have a Pearl Sapphire Blue by Arteza. Love that one. And then this one right back here, you probably guess, is Prussian Blue. So I picked five colours of blue, just like Jeremy, but he picked his green, going from light to dark. Now I'm going to do a flip cup. Okay. But I'm going to layer my flip cup, and I'm going to do it right here, so that everyone at home can just see what I'm doing. Alright, so first off I'm going to start with some of the pearl in the bottom. Ooh. Then we're going to go in with the King's Blue. And I'm going to layer, as best as I can, these on top of each other. There's a little bit of dirty pouring going on. Then the Brilliant Blue. Love that one. Then the Pearl Sapphire. And then some of the deep dark Prussian blue that's so dark, it's almost black. So dark. Okay, and then another little layer. So this is the Glacier. This is the Kings. This is the Brilliant. This is the Pearl. And then this one is the wonderful portion. All right, so that is my layered cup. So next, I've got my flow extender. Now this is that Prussian blue mixed with flow troll. It is a nice flow extender base coat consistency. Let me just get rid of these drips in it. I'm going to pour this one on the canvas. Now, I will be tilting mine out, so I will make sure to get my edges, but I'm going to be tilting, so it doesn't have to be beautiful at this point. Let's get this one on the canvas. All right, so there is my base coat. Now, I've put a base coat on here in intentionally because I want these paints to have something to slide over. Here is my layered cup. Let's flip this one onto the canvas. That was a great flip. Thank you. There was plenty of space left in that pot, but I really enjoyed that flip too. Now, because it's not a paint grenade, and because the suction is not going to help me get these paints out of this pot, I am going to allow this to sit for five whole minutes. Five minutes. Five whole minutes. Yeah, because what I want, I want the paint that was at the bottom of the cup that's now the top to come all the way down to the top of the cup, which is actually now the bottom. So I'm just going to allow these to sit here for just five minutes, just to allow those paints to seep down to the bottom. To reach the canvas. All right, so five whole minutes have passed. Hopefully now all these delicious juicy paints have all come from the bottom of the cup down to the top and then we're going to lift this one. Now I will be lipping it. So there's going to be some lip action on here as well as some flip action. So let's get to this. Wow. Well, that's blue. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's what you expect when it's monochromatic, right? Let's torch this bad boy off, get rid of these bubbles. All right, 
So now it is time to tilt this one out. Oh, I thought you were going to say Sing Blue by Patsy Cline. I actually definitely was not. <laughs> please, please don't, because you'll just lose almost nine and a half thousand subscribers. <laughs> it is tilting time. Oh, tilting time. That's one you can sing. Thank you, sir. Let's get to this. So there you have it folks, I love this. It's beautiful. Thank you sir, I just love that effect that you get from the lip. Um, you can definitely see all five shades of the blue on here for sure. I love the ombre effect that we've got in the corners, I love the lips and the lines through this. I'm very happy with this monochromatic blue themed piece for the Colour Theory series. Um, I'm going to, in fact I just have got my edges, I've just torched it, I'm going to take you in for a close up. There you have it. Ha, ah, I really enjoyed this one. So, sir, tell me about your green monochromatic ring pour. What did I you thought think? it was great. Um, 
I, I just thought it was great. I thought you could definitely see the different lines of colors in there. Um, one of the colors did, of course, actually take over a little bit, right. um, which was that minty kind of color. Right. But I loved it. I thought it was great. Uh, being monochromatic like that, it's really interesting to see how colors play with each other or the same color plays with each other. Right. Uh, but yeah, I really loved it. I loved you using, leaving the negative space on it. Yes. Um, it's one of the reasons why we do make a negative or a flow or a base coat color that is still complementary to the piece. Yeah. Um, because you never know. Sometimes you might just need it, sometimes you don't, but you'll never really know until you start tilting, right? Exactly. I loved it. I love a flip and lip anyway, but this one was just really fun. Um, I love the technique, or sorry, the, I love the effect you get when you lip the paint. Yes. Um, and you get all those kind of streaks and lines. Exactly. Really awesome. It was beautiful. Thank you. Yours was absolutely stunning. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. And clearly I love blues, so yeah. that was always going to be a really fun piece for me. Yeah. Yeah, I really like this one. It came out really well, so I'm excited. Well, congratulations. Thank you, sir. <laughs> so that's monochromatic tick. Yes. What's next? It is the complementary colors episode. Mm, okay. Yes. What does that mean? It's the opposing colors of each side of the of the color wheel. Okay. Yes. All right, all right. So that's going to be interesting. So yes. complementary colors is two colors next, whereas yes. monochromatic was just one. Exactly. Okay. I love it. All right. So that's going to be the next one up in the series, and we'll be getting to that one very shortly. Reminder: please come and see us on Sunday. Yes. For the live stream, it's going to be really, really fun, and uh, we'll be publishing the times for that one at some point over the next twenty-four hours. Yeah. And then we'll be back here on Tuesday. Day, probably for complimentary colors the second episode in the series that's awesome until then guys have a great friday evening bye guys we'll see you very soon so we bye. want to take a moment to spank spank <laughs> <laughs> spank some very special <laughs> <laughs>we want to take a moment to thank some very special people absolutely and that's our patreons, patreons. so the patreon account is a very separate account from youtube mm -hmm. but it allows some very important people the opportunity to get a little bit of a closer look of the studio and there are certain levels so at one level for example you get to see sneak peeks and behind the scenes videos mm -hmm. at another level you're invited to join us in a whatsapp group where we chat we exchange pictures and you also get weekly painting challenges in another level you get um, once a month live streams at another level you get once a month tutorials that are live yes. and then at our top tier the diamond level you would get to pick the colors and the technique for an episode of Massey Art Studios mm -hmm. and then you get to keep one of the 11 by 14 inch canvases every single month so, with the change of venue, what? I know, we've got some very special people we like to thank. And that's yes. the gold Massey Posse. And that's Trisha West, Stephanie Hancock, Donna Patterson, Terry Leshner, Gloria Salaki, mm. Nate Bright, yeah. Linda Serian, Crafty Chicken Mom, Mary Doulas, we've got Rebecca Hawes Winters, and we've also got Patsy Petrilli. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And with the platinum level, we have Leslie Beaver, we have Janice and Steve Pittman, we have Donna Panis, and Dana Foxley. And the diamond level, our one and only, everyone knows that, we all love her, it is <laughs> Sparkles. Thank you, Sparkles. And to everyone else that's down below right here, we thank you so very much for wanting to be part of yes. the Massey Posse. Thank you guys, we really genuinely do appreciate it.